Good morning, beloved. Uh, this morning our devotional is 1 Samuel chapter 12, verses 6 to 8. Then Samuel said to the people, It is the Lord who appointed Moses and Aaron and brought your ancestors up out of Egypt. Now then stand here, because I am going to confront you with evidence before the Lord as to all the righteous acts performed by the Lord for you and your ancestors. After Jacob entered Egypt, they cried to the Lord for help, and the Lord sent Moses and Aaron, who brought your ancestors out of Egypt, and settled them in this place. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Now, Father, I pray that you would help us to look to you always, to put our eyes firmly on the Lord Jesus Christ, that we would be mindful always that it was not by our hand that we were saved, but by grace poured out by your love for your children. Father, we pray this in Jesus' name. Uh, beloved, you know, it's a it's an easy thing uh, to become uh, conceited and arrogant. Uh, I remember uh, a, a pastor a long time ago, an older pastor, his name was Frank Schmidt, and I just loved Frank Schmidt. He was a seminary professor and a pastor, and uh, he said one time, I, I can't remember if he told me or if he told a class uh, that I was in, but he said, uh, it's, a, it's a funny thing, uh, people come to church and they are broken whatever their marriage is a mess uh, their finances are a mess their children are a mess their life is a mess they're broken and they come and God delivers them and they through obedience to the Word of God and through biblical principles of life maybe their lives begin to turn around their children turn around their marriage turns around their finances turn around their their jobs turn around because of what God has done for them and all of a sudden they go from this depth of poverty in every way to being rich by the hand of the Lord. And then they begin to say, oh, look how good I am. I've turned, I've turned my life around. I've gotten so much. I, I, I. And they fall back into that. Israel brought out of bondage in Egypt. Carried through the terrible time in the desert held in every way and guided as they took the promised land, given judges over and over and over again to save them, now stop seeking God and seek a king instead. And Samuel says, It is the Lord who appointed Moses and Aaron and brought your ancestors up out of Egypt. Now then, stand here, because I am going to confront you with evidence about the Lord as to all the righteous acts he performed performed by the Lord for you and your ancestors. Beloved, we need to constantly tell ourselves it's by grace alone. It's God who did it. It's not us. It's not our worth. It's not our merit. Yes, God loves you. Yes, you're valuable in God's eyes. But you're valuable in God's eyes because of his love not because of your talents, your abilities, your uh, uniqueness in any way. It's because of God. You know, beloved, I, I often think to myself, how could God do anything with me? I'm worthless. And yet God sometimes does great things through me if I will simply keep looking to Him and not become arrogant because he did something through me. Because he touched me for a moment as I shared the gospel. As I prayed for someone. Or as I comforted them. In verse 8 the Bible says, After Jacob entered Egypt, they cried to the Lord for help. And the Lord sent Moses and Aaron, who brought your ancestors out of Egypt, and settled them in this place. Beloved, they cried to the Lord. They were in need. And so who do they cry to? They cried out to God. Help us, God. Help us. They knew they couldn't do it on their own. They were in slavery. And 
God sent Moses and Aaron. And they led them as the angel was in front of them. Out of Egypt, towards the promised land. Beloved, God provides for you his Holy Spirit. God has sent through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ the Spirit to dwell in you if you receive. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men. Titus tells us it's appeared to you. Walk humbly with God instead of in arrogance forgetting that it's God who did it. May God bless you as you go about your day.